Amyloid is one of the key proteins involved in Alzheimer's disease. It's thought that by removing amyloid from the brain, you will slow down the rate of progression of the disease. Now importantly, it doesn't stop the disease, it doesn't make people better, but it will slow down the rate at which the disease progresses so people remain functional for a longer period of time. Lecanemab does in fact remove amyloid from the brain, but it may also remove amyloid from the blood vessels in the brain, and this may render them leaky such that people on this drug may develop some swelling in the brain and may develop some bleeding in the brain. This can be monitored by MRI, and usually the side effects have been mild and moderate. It showed that we now may have the ability to actually modify the underlying disease process. Heretofore, we've had symptomatic drugs for Alzheimer's disease, but they do not actually get at the underlying disease process. Drugs like lecanemab now actually alter the disease process itself and will slow down the rate of progression. That's a major step forward. This gives us an opportunity to perhaps add other drugs that may have additive mechanisms of action to actually slow down the disease process even more dramatically. It is likely that lecanemab will be used for people who have the mildly symptomatic phases of Alzheimer's disease. So clinically, we call that mild cognitive impairment or mild dementia due to Alzheimer's disease. These were the people who were actually involved in the phase three clinical trial that demonstrated the effectiveness of the drug.